Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Heavy Rain, uh, part eight. In the last episode, we had a little bit of an incident where, well, <coughs> you may ask why are you with Scott Shelby instead of Madison. I accidentally forgot to be, forgot to record, so I had to, I did them, I accidentally did them off screen. Basically, what happened in, Excuse me. The last uh, off screen is Madison met Madison staying at the motel Ethan staying at, and Ethan's on his way to the uh, power on his way to a power plant. And Agent Norman Jaden and Madison. So Madison met Ethan and got to know him, and Ethan knew Madison. And then uh, Agent Norman Jaden did the chapter the closed a uh, closed market or supermarket or whatever. Basically, it's a chase through a supermarket, and that I failed, so that's why I kind of didn't record it, but whatever. Anyway, so we're here with a visitor, so let's start here. So yeah, episode 8 starts now. I'm Scott Shelby. Get up, you fool. Stop drinking your liquor. Jesus Christ. Guessing these are the people. A badge? Cool, so I used to be a cop. Oh, and, his hand, and a handgun. Can't breathe this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. I think to unfold the origami figures, to be totally honest. Files. Again, that's what you would keep in a filing cabinet. That's cool, so we get to see Shelby's office. I can walk. Thank God. Okay, so he's an old police officer. That's the map of the city. That's cool. There's rain, fire escape, a lamp, restroom. Wake up.
Nobody's home. Hello? You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Yes. Can I come in? Sure. Let me take your coat. Would you like a drink? You want a drink? Yes, glass of water. Please. Take a seat, I'll get it. Didn't really expect to see her again. Wonder what she wants. Yes, yeah, this last tour. Should be in the kitchen cupboard. A scotch glass. Mark Fridge. I'm guessing that's the company who makes the fridge, but here we are. Cup way too big for the end. Right, I feel like we should start up with the. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. <laughs> Alan Winters. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Did Ever you just... Came did I mean... And I, I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. The answer is no. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. <sighs> I'm sorry, Lauren, but I work alone. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelley? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> yeah, I guess. We're partners. Yay, partners. Jesus! Okay. Rain, calm down. <laughs> Hello. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Of course. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wood tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Stupid to bring a lord. <coughs> Art as well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid uncle. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. 
Oh, okay then. This kind of party. What a joint! Kramer must be loaded. What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creep. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Okay. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Well, I'm here. Might as well have a drink. Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask him? Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. God. My friend. Maybe this job does have its first. Now I got me a new friend. Get off me, sir. Where stairs? Hello there. Okay. Gotta find Gordy Kramer. Upstairs. He's been looking for Gordy Kramer. Gordy, Gordy Kramer. Oh. I haven't seen Lauren for a while. Better see what she's up to. Hey, good looking girl. Keep your mind on the job, Scotty. Oh, excuse me. Sir! Sir! Where the hell is Lauren? Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy. Excuse me! I I'm looking for Gordy! I saw him going upstairs a while ago. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. I'm a private detective. I'd like to speak to Gordy Kramer. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Look, you just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to him. Okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. Where the hell Lauren go? If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm going to have to go about it some other way. Those two goons and me seeing Gordy don't mix. So we're we have to think Lauren another way to get rid Maybe bust a few heads? Yeah, tell me. But not such a good idea. Too many goon-shaped reinforcements around here. Thank you. And where'd Lauren go? Finding someone who isn't smashed or doped up to the gills would be a miracle. And I need one right now. Got to find a way to get them away from the stairs long enough for me to be able to slip past them. I'm at a dead end. Maybe I'll take a flyer on one of Lauren's ideas. 
Where the hell did Lauren go, though? Uh, that is drunk. Lauren coming here? No? Not a surprise. Did Lauren go? All right then. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking for Lauren. Hey, oh. You think you could help me out? Sure. Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here! Do I look like a dealer? Uh. Okay, Lauren's gone. I'm looking for a black haired black haired girl. Uh sorta of G So did you find Gordy? He's upstairs. Yeah. We got two goons blocking the way. Do you want me to hand? Beat it. Hey, what are you gonna do? Knock him out with a pair of high heels? Leave it to me. Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs. All right then. Wait, Lord. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> The goons are like, we don't care. They get paid. They don't get paid enough. You know you want. You know they want to. Come on. Don't mind me. I'll zip right past. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Either he's coked out of his mind or he's special. <laughs> Me, my idea. <laughs> Mr. Kramer, if you please. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! Oh. What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. 
Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. Yes, please, sir. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can believe. I get you just want to watch your cartoons, but man, you gotta help me look out for these kids. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. What the fuck? Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Nope! Ah! Oh. 2v1's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Get ball shot in. This guy's the this guy's the Joker. He sounds like him at least. Oh, oh good. Well, this is going on. I like how he's just laughing. Oh. Get gun slapped. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. This guy. What? Okay, I'm confused now. All right, we're back with Ethan, so we're gonna do the power plant. Tough guy. That's probably beat those guys. I got the achievement, or I got eight achievement. Anyway, this is the end of episode eight. Yes, I know I was supposed to do the Madison chapter and the supermarket chapter. I might throw that in a bonus video, or you can go watch someone else's let's play. I'm sorry, I forgot to cover those two. I apologize. I promise I will cover. Everything in the next episode, or or whenever I get around to it, so I follow my do it as a bonus video. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode, episode nine, where we continue with Ethan's thing. Bye bye.